everyone. Well, Brad and I were in the backyard shooting some footage of my dress and it started to rain on us. We have a big old storm coming with thunder and I love thunderstorms. But that's not why I'm here today. I am here to show you my brand new dress made with this absolutely gorgeous fabric from Fabric Mart. This will count as my very first Fabric Mart Fabricista vlog with a V. And I love the fabric. Now, lest you think I might just be saying that, I'm going to tell you I'm not. I'll show you some of the dress. I am wearing it. And I want you to see it in action. So let me put in a clip right here for you to see the dress. lovely I wouldn't mind a glass of the bubbly well do you hear that thunder my gosh this fabric first of all it's about 94 degrees outside <laughs> just what I love this fabric I've talked about it before it is shimmer satin the actual full name of it is Berry Rayon Nylon Shimmer Satin. This is produced by a famous dress designer. I don't know which one, but it is 58 inches wide and it has a matte side and a shiny side. What I did with my dress, I used pattern New look 6617. Good view B, which happens to be the one she's wearing. And it's a little hard to see details because they used a printed fabric. But I thought that this dress would be perfect for playing with the shiny side and the plain or matte side. So what I did was I made the flounce shiny, I made the shoulder ties shiny, and all of the rest of it is matte. This gives such a beautiful effect. And honestly, I think this dress looks really expensive because of the fabric. But I wanna tell you about this fabric. It is considered a satin. It is not difficult to sew like a satin. It is the most forgiving fabric, one of the most I've ever worked with. First of all, I tossed it straight into the wash, cold water wash, and I'm a scent junkie, so I put in my detergent, I put in my scent crystals, and I put in fabric softener every single time. Then a tumble dry on medium. It comes out looking like this glorious, almost sort of hammered satin, but you can iron it. I always use a pressing cloth on this. And the other thing that I love about this fabric, besides the fact that it looks very, very costly and is not, is that if you happen to have to rip stitches out, which I happen to have to do, about five times. You can rip stitches out of this fabric and it smiles and says, that's okay. We don't need to tell anyone. You can't see where you rip them out. You just give it a nice pressing after you have ripped all your stitches out and you're good to go. So I can't say enough nice things about this fabric. The seams do not look puckered at all. 
which can happen with satin fabric, but I believe that because it is rayon and nylon, you're just gonna get a really nice finish. And not only a nice finish, but a beautiful drape. Now you can see I'm holding up extra. The pattern called for four yards of fabric for view B, and I did not need that much. But I changed so much about this pattern, I really can't even give it a fair review because I didn't, well, let's put it this way. They called for lining. I didn't line it. I drafted a front facing and I finished the back neck with a narrow hem. I changed the scoop of the back neck. They wanted darts in the front skirt. I took those out. And um, they wanted a zipper up the side and I left that out too. So you can see that I changed quite a bit. I hope that I did not change the integrity of the design because I think it's a beautiful dress. I raised the neckline as well. Um, so it would be quite low cut but as such it went together just fine i got a little topsy-turvy with my uh with remembering which was the right and wrong side because i kept changing it up between the ties and the bodice and the skirt and the flounce so that is my review of this gorgeous fabric there is going to be a link below so that you too can sew something out of this shimmer satin if you would like to. Again, I think it packs a punch with some of the more expensive fabrics, uh, silk and oh, wools and, and things that are, even linen, things that are expensive and look beautiful. Well, this is inexpensive and looks beautiful. So nothing but good things about the pattern, even though I didn't make it as it is specified, and the fabric. I will be back soon. I'm so glad you joined me today. I'll leave you with a little more footage out in the backyard. I opened up my adorable umbrella that was given to me as a gift by an extended family member. Hi, Laura. Thank you so much. I love that umbrella and it is absolutely pouring here. So I hope you're heading into a great weekend. I hope you're having a good week and we'll talk soon. Bye.